Hey everybody, it's Hillary. How are you? I promised you a thrift haul video. It's going to be short because there really wasn't a whole lot at uh, Value Village and I really didn't plan to stop, but I found a couple of kind of cool things. Um, so I'll come on and show you real quick. How is everybody doing today? It's Friday. Woo! Those of you that are nine to fivers are probably loving it. I know I am. Oh yeah. Look at this ring. Is it not blingy? I always, I wanted a great big blingy ring to cover my ugly poor eczema hands. Oh, I hate it when they break out. Anyway, I got that ring for two bucks on Whatnot sale. Um, yeah, Whatnot, if you guys are not on there, it is so cool. There are Canadian sellers as well as, as, well as American sellers. Um, pop on, it's lots of fun. I am right now just getting in the process, so I will be able to sell on whatnot too. Um, speaking of selling, I sold today this adorable little Easter Hummel. Look at how gorgeous they are. These, my aunt took such good care of these little guys. They were hers. He is a little Easter one and uh, eBay sales have been crazy. So I actually, today alone, I sold three items. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know, is it nuts? Is it people getting their income tax money back? I don't know. I'll take it. <laughs> also, I wanted to show you a couple of projects. So this is done with Country Chic Paint Crinoline, and that is the IOD Paint Lay. But I just thought they were really pretty. And also this cute little peep. And all I did was take a couple of uh, coats of uh, country chic paint and I distressed it and sealed it. These are cute for uh, tear trays. I have some extras. If anybody is interested in a workshop, you don't have to do the inlay. You can just paint it. You can do them however you want. They come very plain. So you comment below, say, Hillary, I wanna do this workshop and I'll see what I can arrange. So uh, everybody who is uh, watching today, please remember that you will be watching on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to build up the YouTube channel. I've gotten more subscribers in the last little while, so that's kind of cool, but I need quite a few to be able to get monetized. So don't forget to comment. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little bell notice. And what'll happen is, is every time I upload a video, if I don't put it onto the Facebook or the Instagram page, you'll get a notification and leave me a comment. I love to hear your comments, you guys. Okay, yap, yap, yap. Here's the thrift haul. Um, first item is this little mid-century brooch. It's totally 90s, right, you guys? Totally 90s. It's just gold tone fashion jewelry. Um, it's got a big pearl on it and there are some little, you probably can't see it, little diamond E stones in there. The back is good, it's not marked. It's fashion jewelry. So this, I've got it up on eBay for sale of $9.95. I'll put it in the store too, if anybody's interested. Um, I found these adorable and I've had these before and sold these before. These little snack buckets, barware snack buckets. I think these ones were done by Gift Craft. Awesome, just had a customer. Alrighty, so yeah, these little buckets, they are snack buckets. They are mid-century barware. They are beautiful inside. The coolest thing is, is I know that somebody has used these because when I bought this one, Good Lord, Value Village didn't even clean it. There was still like cheesy crumbs in it. But how cool is that? So it is a barbershop quartet. And it's sweet Adeline on the back. These are in beautiful condition. No chips, no cracks. So I've also listed them on eBay. <laughs> knock myself out. I've also listed them on eBay, but they will be in the store. So if anybody's interested, there's a little residue sticker from Giftcraft. Um, just uh, comment or stop in or send me a message through the Facebook page. Say, hey, Hillary, I really want to buy those. Uh, the next thing I found was a Royal Copley planter. This one, look at the lime green color. 
This is footed, of course, Royal Copley. They're not marked, but you can almost always tell. And it is called seagrass. And it does look like it's like in an aquarium or something, right? So there is a little tiny flea bite chip right there. It's definitely because of its age, it's got some crazing and it's got some crazing on the inside. But the price was good and it's Royal Copley. I wasn't about to leave this baby behind. So uh, yeah, same thing if you're interested. Um, it's definitely on eBay, but you know, the store prices are a lot better and you don't have to get them shipped. And the last little item I have for you, told you it was a short one, are these totally cool Egyptian spindle dolls. And you see, they're made out of wood. They're hand painted. First of all, I got really excited when I saw these guys. I'm like, oh, are those Kokeshi dolls? No, but they're Kokeshi style. <laughs> but they are still really cool Egyptian spindle dolls. Yeah, look at her face. He's like, hey, baby. And she's like, mm -mm, it ain't happening, buddy. Mm -mm. But these are really, really cool. And I also have in the store, this little bracelet, isn't this pretty? I got it as a free gift. It's got one of these clasps. So I got it as a free gift. It's super pretty. I love it. It's glass beads, but it's just not my style. And with the eczema on my wrists, sometimes the less stuff I wear for jewelry, the better. Okay, guys. Thrifting has been hard. Um, yeah, I've also heard that the post has gotten crazy from one of my fellow thrifters with their prices. Guys. What's going on? Um, I'm hoping like next month I should be able to get out of town. Uh, I like to go to Lethbridge. They've got some awesome thrifting there just to see some different items and stuff too. Uh, are you guys still thrifting? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's it for the haul. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it. I'm good with that. And uh, have a great day. Talk to you soon.